Turning back to the devastation left behind by Hurricane Florence. Five days after Hurricane Florence made landfall, President Trump now in the Carolinas meeting with Governor Cooper and Governor McMaster as he toured storm damage and flooding in both states. The president got an up close look at hard hit New Bern today, vowing to help communities recover. The president said rebuilding money will flow into both states. Meantime, today more people were rescued. More than 3,000 people saved men, women, and young children like the the ones you see here plucked from floodwaters. Drones are now being used to help get power restored. They're giving crews a bird's eye view as they inspect electrical lines. Workers have restored power to more than 1 million customers across North and South Carolina. As the recovery continues across the Carolinas, President Trump spent time with survivors and volunteers promising help for the long road back after Hurricane Florence. And it will be a long road. We saw firsthand areas that weren't underwater 12 hours ago. They're now waist deep. NBC Charlotte's Evan West was in Havelock when the president arrived. So Evan, a big recovery process ahead, and we heard big promises to get all this done. President Donald Trump arriving here in Havelock at 1030 earlier this morning. He sat in this seat right here and told the people of North Carolina that the federal government will give them anything they need. Six. Two sides coming together as one. Governor, I want to thank you. Really fantastic, fantastic job. President Donald Trump and Governor Roy Cooper put their political differences aside and spent part of Wednesday afternoon examining the damage caused by Hurricane Florence. Some of the flooding is actually epic, hard to believe. President Trump arrived in Air Force One bringing condolences and promises that federal financial relief is on the way. Unfortunately, the money will be a lot, but it's going to come as fast as you need it. The biggest need in North Carolina is electricity. The flood water so high in some places, it's been tough to restore. Yesterday was our first full day in some of the hardest in areas. With more than 6,500 resources in the eastern part of the state, Duke Energy CEO Lynn Good is pleased with their progress. We have a million and a half customers restored, 150,000 to go, and we won't sleep until we get the rest of those customers restored. Tonight, many people are still in the dark at home, but starting to see a little light after welcoming the president and governor into their communities. And good news for North Carolinians, Duke Energy is hopeful that every customer without power will have it restored by Monday. Reporting in Havelock, I'm Evan West for NBC Charlotte.